My name is Allie, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the most of your barber's navigation possibilities with the menu section. As you may know, you can create different sections to define and separate the content of your app, and you can navigate through them with eight different templates in addition to the one you can create from scratch. However, you may need to create deep menus with submenus and further classification, which is called multi-level navigation. To do so, the only thing you need to do is add one or more menu sections into your app. To create multi-level navigation in your app, go to App, Sections, click on the green button, add a section, and then load more. You'll see the green icon of the menu section. Select it. If it's the first time you're using this section, a tooltip screen with basic information about that section will appear. On the right top corner, you can deactivate this tooltip if you don't want it to appear again. After clicking OK, name your menu section. Make sure that the button Publication Status is in blue and activated, otherwise all the sections added to this menu won't be visible. Add your menu. In the right column of your back office, you will see that the new menu section has been added with two submenus, Menu and Add. The first one will allow you to design the section, and the second lets you add new subsections. We recommend that you add new sections to your menu before designing it. By clicking on Add, you are able to select the sections you want to insert into your new menu. Just as before, you will receive a message with a brief presentation of the section. Some sections will require you to choose a source of information, whether this is Good Barber's MCMS system or a third-party source. When you add a new section, you will be automatically redirected inside the section page to start creating or managing your content. If you go back to the Sections menu, you are able to add a new section into your menu just by moving the mouse over the icon of the menu section, where a new green button, Add, will appear. Repeat the process with all the sections you need to add. You can even add another menu section to your menu and create a deeper navigation mode. You can add up to three different levels of navigation. Now it's time to design your menus. Click on the icon of the menu section and a new icon called Menu will appear. If you click on it, you will enter into the gallery of templates created for the section and you will be able to choose the template that best matches the design of your application. You can choose between eight different templates and you even have the possibility to implement your own template by selecting HTML the last option displayed. Every pair of templates has the same structure. For example, the templates in the first row so show the sections in horizontal levels, and the second pair are in a stylish structure, ideal for the most fashionable apps. The ones in the third row center the sections and allow you to give a very clear visualization of your content at first glance. The templates 7 and 8 are ideal for creating directories or catalogs. The templates on the left side will allow you to add a picture for every section which can either be personal or from our Unsplash gallery. If you enter into the detail page for one of these templates by clicking on the blue Select button, you are able to upload your pictures, choosing the option Browse. Remember, the image must have the correct size which can be checked by clicking on the blue question mark icon. If you don't have a personal image to assign to your section, you can use our Unsplash gallery by clicking on Library. You can filter your search by recently used or by dominant colors of the images. Once you have selected your image, you can edit it. When the mouse is placed over the photo, crop and delete icons will appear. By selecting the cropping option, you can not only crop the image, but also choose a black and white or blur filter.
This was just about the first column of templates, so to see the possibilities of those in the second column, we have to go back to the templates page of this section. The templates on the right will accompany every section with an icon. Using these templates, you can choose to use the icons in our library or to upload your own personal ones. Choose one template and you will enter in its detail page again. By clicking on the icon of the section, a new screen will appear. This is Good Barber's Icon Library, where you can choose the icon you like the most for your section. However, you can still use your personal icons by selecting the personal icon label and uploading them. Remember that the icon must be a white image over a transparent background in PNG format and its size must be 260 by 260 pixels. I want to show you one last thing about the templates offered, so let's go back to the template list of the section. Templates 5 and 6 give you the possibility to add a background picture to the menu that you can choose from your personal photos or from the Unsplash gallery. Every template offered for the menu section gives you the possibility to customize the style of the subsection titles or to hide them. To apply your new multi-level navigation to your app, you will have to click on the green button, Update App, in the top right corner of your back office, which will redirect you to the change log page. Then click Update and continue.